Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Projection Technology Game Times 2. I had some fun working with some uh, some other things. We're just, just, just projects we just put out there from time to time on that uh, Halloween screen or whatever way you want to use that screen or for that technology for. But anyway, and keep in mind when we developed it, it's not to be used for a projection screen type. It's just basically just used for special effects. All right, so right here we have uh, three pieces of plywood. Actually, I like the plywood screen so much. I did one, I liked it, I went and got another one, and then I picked another one up today. So this is my plywood projection screen. Keep in mind, I don't have them all connected together, but I like the effect of having them spread apart. But anyway, so um, this is actually sprayed uh, using our new Illuminous Ambulite Rejection Eclipse Cinema Paint. This is our jet black screen paint. I'm going to show you where the projector is sitting. We're about 9 to 10 feet back from the screen. I'm using, again, the uh, ViewSonic. Uh, 4K projectors, my Ultra 4, no, sorry, yeah, Ultra 4K projector, 3500 lumens, um, sitting back around 9 to 10 feet from the screen. All right, so let's begin, and we're going to do this demonstration in a fully lit environment. You know, it's funny, I, mean, I did a video about demonstration about why are people still doing demonstrations in the dark, and I got some response off of that. People were like, well, you know, you should have the room, you know, the best way to clarify uh, what you're looking at is to have it in the dark. So basically what you're saying is that the when you get a projector, you're literally just going to have to be in the dark all the time. That's pretty much it. That's what you're saying is that, you know, get a projector, spend what? Some people spend five, three, four hundred, whatever you spend for a projector, and get the entire setup just to sit in the dark. If that's the case, you might just go get a TV. There you go. I mean, keep in mind that people understand. Not, those of you who understand, you know what I'm talking about. If you have a dedicated theater room, all well and good that you're going to be in the dark all day. But dude, most of the majority of most of these people that buy from me are putting these in their homes, right? So they're going to have in their living room, they're going to have their dining room, the rec room. They don't want that area dark all the time. They don't want it. Yes, if you're going to be watching movies, all good and well. But for TV and sports and everything else, they don't want to be in the dark. That's all to it. You got a dedicated theater room that's perfect because then you can be in there with the dark you're on the windows it's designed to be a dark environment perfect all in well but the technology i develop is for people to be able to use it on both scales you can use it with the lights out you can use it with the lights on and most of all it's perfect for business and churches because they can use it in a fully lit environment because the screen will thrive all right so that's the reason why i have demonstrations with the lights on all right so let me back up here a minute I got everything closed up. All right, and let's begin. Okay, we'll take our projector off blank mode. All right, and let's start. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the brightest black screen paints I have ever developed, and it looks absolutely incredible. Wait, and before, before I start this, because I want you to see this real quick, let's go to the back of the screen. I want to show you this. So this is three pieces of plywood I picked up at some at home at some Home Depot and some at Lowe's I paid six bucks a piece for each one and coated it with our black screen paint and I'll show you what we get from this I've done this before but three of them man I'm telling you it looks sick I love it See, when I watch a demonstration and I see these poorly lit ambient light environments, I see dark environments, it just tells me if I was a customer buying a screen, that that's the only way I'm going to be able to get that screen to perform well. It has to be in the dark. I would never think to turn the lights on. Now, if I watch a demonstration such as mine, and I'm seeing all these lights on, this guy is actually showing off a beautiful picture in a fully lit environment, that lets me know that I can use the screen in a fully lit environment. It lets companies know that, hey, look, we can use this technology in a well-lit commercial uh, um, um, environment because the screen's not gonna wash out. You come into my channel and you comment on, I should have the lights out, then that tells me exactly where you're at with your projector. You're sitting in the dark all day. Look at this. 
Now this is a one to two coat application. I always put one coat on and I go over it a second time, just a light spray over it and that's it. And keep in mind this has to be sprayed on, this cannot be rolled on. It's actually weatherproof, it's 3D and 4K ready, as you can see the 4K projector. Also too, um, the um, kit, we have the one quart, we have the, uh, actually one quart paints the screen size from 100 inch to 120 inch, a 16, 9, 16, 10, and you can get 235.1 off of that. Uh, the one gallon will paint a screen size of 100 inch to 180 inch. Keep in mind the one gallon comes with a free Wagner 150 paint sprayer, and then the two gallons comes with a free Wagner 150 paint sprayer, so I got a little tongue tied around there. And that one will paint a screen size from 100 inch to a 250 inch screen. And keep in mind, this is just plywood. Every day, cheap plywood, unsanded, unprimed, just coated and done. And this is how amazing the black technology that we've developed. And right there behind, you see that faded? That's the wall, right there. That's a white wall. So that's a message to those of you that are still using white walls and white projection screens and you think you're getting the best from your projector, you're just not. I've had a great day today. We launched the screen paint today. We sold somewhere between 140 containers of screen paint. Beautiful day today. Blessed day today. Walk around our screen. There's a white wall, there's my screen. Okay. That is really cool. I like doing it like that. Really cool effect to it. Let's grab another video. Now the big screen you see behind it, that big frame, I'm gonna be turning that into my ultra, ultimate retro projection screen. And yes, it will be black. I gotta measure that screen up because I didn't measure the size out when I was putting it together. And this is how beautiful the white levels are. Of course, contrast on a screen like this is gonna be incredible. Like I said, doing a projection screen in a dark environment, that's easy. There's just no challenge in that. There is no challenge in that. I don't care if people like the statement that I make. It, it's true. There's no challenge in it. I don't find it. I don't find it challenging, man. I mean, if that had to be the, if that had to be the normal of doing demonstrations on that level. I don't want to be in this business. There's no challenge to it. For me to get a screen to thrive in a fully lit environment it is a I love it. It's a challenge to me. Every, you know, every time I move into a different house, I'm always faced with different forms of lighting. So before I move in, I like to see how much lighting the house is actually generating. I love this particular house because there was just so much light, light in the basement, the condensed lighting. It was a really challenge. And if you notice in every house that I've moved, I've moved in three houses so far, you'll notice that, um, that when I move into these houses, that the screens all thrive the same way. You can go back and check my video archives and you will see that all of them thrive the same way. All my screens thrive, no matter what technology design, all thrive the same way. I think I must have spent like two hours walking around Home Depot trying to figure out what I'm going to turn into a screen next. Got a couple of interesting ideas that I was going through there yesterday. I'm thinking about it. You can go get a sheet or plywood 
that is four by eight. Coat it, put it up on your wall, you're done. That's it. Now, I'm gonna pause it here, and I'm going to come over here to my screen, and I'm gonna move the pieces over just a little bit, and overlap them just a little bit. All right. Or just a little bit. So everything's overlapped. It's just overlapped here and here. All right. So if you decide that you want to get, you want to make a screen completely out of thin plywood. All you have to do. Now mine, mine's overlapping each other. They're not fitting nice and tight next to each other. They're actually overlapping each other. Okay, that was weird. Probably had a little internet bump. Keep in mind, I'm using Wi-Fi I'm in the basement. Now you see how it all blends together? So this gives you the ability, if you want to go out and spend money for this, uh, like I said, um, plywood is cheap, and you want to actually piece them together to make larger screens, you can do that. many possibilities with this technology. And it's overlapped. See? You can see it there. If I move the ones over here, it disappears. All right, let's come over here. I'm going to grab another demonstration. I'm going to grab this one right here. All right, now I'm going to sign off right here. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I am Kenneth from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Our new Illuminous Ambulite Rejection Cinema Paint. Sorry, sorry, I didn't say cinema. My bad. Eclipse, this is an Eclipse one, I get it mixed up. Eclipse Paint Cinema, Eclipse Cinema. Sorry, is available now on our website. Let me go back here a minute. I am tripping over my own words here. All right, let's do this again. All right, so thank you all for watching the demonstration. I'm Kevin Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This right here is our new Illuminous Amulite Rejection Cinema. What did, I say? did I say Cinema again? Wow. Eclipse cinema oh man i'm telling you it's been a long day trust me i had orders coming in today I, phone kept ringing off constantly ringing it has been a very very busy day launch date was absolutely amazing but do i need to say any more look at the technology I kept thinking cinema paint and this is the eclipse cinema You can literally design your own OLED TVs with OLED TV-like projection screens. I'm using six, three pieces of plywood at six bucks a piece.
All right, gotta go. Thank you all for your time. The screen paint is available now on our website with free worldwide shipping. Y'all have a good one, and God bless. Yes.